Hello everyone. You're welcome to my YouTube channel. My name's I Hope Neoma. I'm a professional hairstylist. I am a caterer and I am also a trained communicator. I am super excited to show you how to customize your own braided wigs. And here I will be showing you the A to Z steps on how to create a shoulder length tiny twist bulb wig. So, and to watch the full tutorial, please click on the link below this video for the full tutorial. So, let's see what we have today and how to create this amazing, beautiful wig. Okay, so the materials that will be needed for this installation is two packs of Kanekelon attachment from the Darlings, and I will be using color 39. It's optional. You can choose any color you want, and we need a scissors. We'll be needing a crochet pin. We'll be needing a wig cap. This is the loop type for this style of crochet. And we'll be needing a swim cap. You can choose either blue or black or any one that's available for you. You will be needing a trade, a sewing needle, a hand sewing needle. And um, a closure, we'll be using a part of closure for this installation. And you need a comb. You also need your mannequin. And lastly, optional, you can also use your hair cream. So, we will be cutting the hair attachment into two equal parts. You don't need to feather it. So now we will be putting on our wig cap. And you need to secure it with few pins of your needle. Either one, two, or three. So that you will secure it in order to have a smooth crochet and twist installation process. So now you grab your attachment. You don't need to feather it. You don't need to to do anything you just need to comb it so that you will remove the frizzed tips from it and have a smooth separation or portioning of the attachment so this is the size we will be using because we don't want it to be too tiny and we don't want it to be medium so we're doing in between size of tiny twist and medium twist and if you're doing it alone you need to portion the size of the attachment you want into several sections so that you don't need to be dragging one and putting back and be doing it to take a lot of time and remember that this style of crochet needs time on its own so now for this week and the style of the week i will be showing you that um you don't need to start from the bottom as in from the line of the weak band so you just need to start it from anywhere so now you need to grab your attachment grab your crochet pass it through one or two loops of the wig cap and then hook your attachment through the pin and then open the loop pull the other part of the extension drag it out and just tight it that's all because it's a twist it will never remove and this is what it will look like while you inst installing it before the twisting part of it so once you're done just grab your comb comb the attachment the crochet attachment properly start from the tip go through the middle and then come upwards so that you have a smooth brushing of the attachment that is the proper way to brush and jump. so this is how it looks so while you want to you just drag one of the attachment open it from the middle and then just twist each part of it you will do it clockwise twist because this style of twisting is easier for beginners for learners to learn how to twist so this type of twisting is the is the kind of a twine method clockwise so once you're doing it repeatedly Make sure you tighten the attachment before you cross it over to the other side because once you release it, it becomes loose. So repeat this process, grab another one, follow the same process as the first one. Just tighten the attachment a bit with your fingers. Cross it clockwise. Yeah, cross it clockwise. Ensure you tighten it. 
then now cross it over to the other side release the other one below and then tighten twine it a little bit cross it over again so once you are doing this consistently do not bother if you're fast or slow this is for beginners but just keep on doing it consistently if you're beginning you'll find out that before you would do it a few more times your speed will increase so just re be repeating this process So I, I want you to watch it carefully again. Drag one portion of the crochet, open it, middle two halves, twine the two divided a little bit. You can see it, you can see it, just cut it into two halves, then twine it a little bit then be crossing it clockwise once you are doing I'm just repeating this video so that you will clearly see what I am doing and along this video I will still repeat this process again so just be crossing it this way slowly but steady don't forget to tight or twist each part a little bit before crossing it over to the other side and ensure it is tight don't give too much gaps between the crossing so that when you leave it the twist will not open and for this style we are doing it a shoulder length so it is good that you watch your legs the, to the length where you will stop the twist and knot it with a little portion, maybe a few strands of the attachment so that the knotted part will not be too noticeable. It's just for you to maintain a specific length of the wig. Okay, so this is the length at the back and we are targeting um, about 10 to 12 inches at the back length to give you the shoulder length that we are looking for. So you have to knot it to ensure that the length is secure so that you don't get to go back again, especially the back side is very important that you determine the actual length. So you need to knot it at the edge where the length that you you are looking for ends and you need to take just a few strands maybe like three strands or four strands of the hair so that the nothing will not be noticeable <laughs> So yes, this is what the first phase of your twist should look like. And remember, because this is behind, you don't need to make it to be too full in order to control the weight and the fitness of your wig.
Okay, now we want to install our closure. Now I'm, I'm just using this to show people that you can use a, a little portion from a closure. It's not a must that you use a full closure or frontal for your weave. So you can use your old closure as you can see. This is a used closure, but I just cut a little bit of it just to put here. So you can cut it smaller, you can make it bigger, just any quantity is fine. So now let's install our closure. When you're putting it, you have to make sure that the lace is in front of the black band. Because if you put it here, it will affect the shape. So you ensure that you bring it out a little bit. I will sh you will see the finishing later. But first, when you do that, you have to you have to secure it so that while you're stitching it, it doesn't shift. So you have to put one there in front and one at the back. And you try to put the hair in a place so it doesn't um, distract you while you're trying to stitch it together. Okay. Ensure you knot your thread, knot it so that it will be secured down. So when you have to install, you have you don't have start in uh, above. You have to put your needle underneath the black cap so the thread doesn't show. So now you can just when you put it because this net is the loop type, the one that, that has opening. So you have to secure the thread while you push it through the loops. You put it here and then you put the thread around the needle before you pull it up. So that's how you will continue. until you finish the closure installation okay so at this point when you get to the first end you cut the thread and start from the other side of the closure this is how you will get a perfect stitching so that the closure can fit improperly without having excess ends. Okay, so this is the installed closure that we are using for this cap. And remember, this is a side parted wig cap and I've already completed the other side of it. So now for this other part, remember to cut it with a needle. It will make it easier for you to cut out the quantity of hair that you actually need without stress. Follow the same process of twisting, but now you have to twist together with the hair from the closure and make sure to tighten it so well so that it will not be loose when you finish it and not the roots of the hair very tight with the extension so that it will be firm to the root so follow the same process be twisting it straight away
Okay, now that our swim cap has been attached with the already twisted braids, all we have to do is to pick up our needle and thread and be pulling the twists from the net upward so that we can fill up the spaces. Why we do so is because the cap that we use to twist is a loose cap and once you don't fix it with a swim cap it will keep on dragging back and when you wear it the hair can be open at the middle or anywhere so that is the reason we use this swim cap to push it so with this needle you just pull the the net upwards and then fix your needle through the small loop in the twist one twist and then run it through a little part of the blue cap and then just knot it once and remember to do so from inside when you want to shift your needle you have to put it underneath the blue cap so that the thread will not mistakenly show outside so repeat this process pull it up hook it through the blue one a very little tiny part of it and then just knot it once repeat the process all through the open spaces then once you are satisfied with how full and covered it is, you have gotten what you want. So this stage will be to ensure that the two calves are rightly fixed together so that they will stick together. So we'll be using our thread and needle to stitch the two edges. Like we can't leave it this way. This one is separate and this one is separate. So we'll be affixing it rightly close to each other. So once again, we we'll Grab your clip and make sure you then grab your hair clips and lift the side up. The hair together so it doesn't stop. So you drag this one down and this one will be before the blue cap so that this one will come before this so you just grab your needle and bring this one this black one is here and then check a little bit from the edge of the blue cap put it together you repeat the same this cap is in front of the edge of the blue cap inside what you need to do is to pick a little portion of the black one with your needle and pick a little portion of the blue cap We will be cutting our hair according to the length to be a shoulder length bob tiny twist wig. So now we are going to cut. I am basing my length here according to my measurement. So
So here is the hot water application process. You just have to get your hot water, your bucket, your towel ready for it and be careful as not to pour the hot water on yourself but feel free to pour the water all around you. Okay, so now I am tonguing the hair into the bulb that we are doing. Now I am tonguing it with my electric hair straightener and the degree is up to 200. The hair is still wet, which is best so that one, the hair doesn't get burnt and two, the coils will retain more. So once you are repeating it and when, when you hold it, just hold it for like 10 to 15 seconds and gently remove the tonguing iron and then repeat the process. That will be it. And so this is what I have for you today. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button below and click on the bell so that you can be getting instant notification on my new post and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you like this video please indicate at the comment section below don't forget to follow me on my facebook page hope neoma got seen on my instagram hope norma underscore all hairstyles and on my twitter hope underscore norma and snapchat hope every detail you need about this hair that i made is right in this description button don't forget to be happy always don't let anybody bring you down let no one weigh you down let no one talk you down let no one make you feel less of what you are you can do it everything is possible and remember always that you have the power to create the world you want to live in so see you and have a lovely day and don't forget to dance 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 and make yourself happy let nothing bother you and remember looking good always is the key so once you are happy you will look good because it comes from within it comes from inside money cannot buy happiness you can give yourself happiness to create the world you want to live in take care bye